I have ranked all the trades in Project Zomboid. I have ranked all of those added by more trades mod and a couple of days ago I have ranked all of those positive ones from Simple Overhaul mod. Today we're ranking all of the negative ones from that mod. In Simple Overhaul many of the existing trades have been reworked to fit better into vanilla setting and their costs have been changed and I'm gonna be linking a link down in the description that you can go check out all of the changes but now today we're gonna to be ranking all of the newly added traits so let's begin first on the list is Lark Lark basically for one point your drowsiness is gonna accumulate slower in the morning from 5 to 10 a.m and it's gonna accumulate faster in the evening from 7 to 11 p.m so this is basically it works on your preferred gameplay do you want to play more in the morning or do you want to play more in the evening are you gonna be in your base safe in the evening or are you gonna be running around at that point? So this is really your choice because the next one, Owl, is basically reversed. So this one I think is very situational and it only gives you one point, so nothing crazy over there. I'm gonna put it out here into B tier. Now for Owl, it's, as I said, it is reversed. So in the morning, it accumulates faster from the 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. So if you tend to sleep till like 10 a.m., you can just avoid that. And then in the evening from 7 to 11, it goes slower. But keep in mind, morning is 5 from 10, evening is from 7 to 11. So morning is 5 hours, evening is 4 hours. So in that regard, Lark is kind of better. But really, it's just one extra hour. It's up to you how you want to play it. We're going to put both of these into B tier. Very situational trades that you can grab for that one extra point if you need to. Next on the list, we have Sensitive Digestion. For two points, this bad boy gives you stomach pain and nausea when you overeat. So if you go and try to always eat full to bursting, that can be a problem. Really, the only problem I can see with this one is you got hurt and you need to eat a lot to heal up. At that point, you're gonna be having problems. Now, usually my characters are always peckish or hungry while going around, and they never really, really have issues with that. So, I think this one, if you, you know, play around it smartly, because if you are in pain, your accuracy and damage is gonna be slightly reduced, so you kinda wanna uh, avoid that but you know there's painkillers as well but really if you just don't eat too much and overeat you're gonna have this as a free two points so in my opinion this is an s tier next on the list for two points is weak back if you remember a couple of days ago when we did the positive trades we had the strong back and i ranked that pretty highly because it gave you one to two extra carry capacity based on your strength this one reduces your carry capacity by one to three actually so it's definitely worse version of the strong back so you know if you're hurting more or you know you have lower strength and your back hurts more you're gonna be carrying even less so minus one to three it's, it's really obnoxious because i value carry weight quite a lot i think it's very important so uh this is gonna be c tier at best next on the list we have snorer basically it says that you snore loudly while you're sleeping i was talking to the creator of this mod and the radius the sound radius is not that big it's not that loud so unless you go sleep in dangerous areas like you go to sleep and you know there's zombies just right outside your doors or just right outside your house you might want to go clear out those zombies earlier or before you go to sleep which in my opinion is a very smart idea anyway right but otherwise it's not gonna pull zombies from half a map away to get to you so i think this one is pretty doable as long as you you know you take precaution you play it safe you go sleep in a safe spot as you should usually so i think this one is pretty good and i think it's pretty worth it so i'm gonna put this up here into a tier next on the list for three points we have allergic basically you're gonna sneeze from time to time allergies you know you know how it is now i don't know if with this one it works same like if you get sick and you can put uh, a tissue on your face and your coughs and sneezes are going to be muffled i assume it works like that so you can do that you know you can muffle but otherwise you're basically yelling 
from time to time as you go around. Now, based on my own way how I play, this is not really bad because I usually seek out combat and I fight zombies. But of course, for those of you who want to play more of a sneaky character and avoid all the zombies, this can be really problematic. So again, I feel it's pretty situational. It kind of depends on your play, the way you play. But I think it's not one of the worst negative traits. We're going to put it out here into B tier. Next on the list, we have liquid blood for three points. Remember the thick blood that you bleed out slower? Yeah, that's that was pretty decent, especially for newer players. Liquid blood, though, you're going to bleed out two times faster than normal rate, which means that if you get a neck injury, you're almost guaranteed that you're dead. You get a laceration in your neck, you're, it's almost guaranteed that you're dead. Even if you just stop and start bandaging, your health is going to start dropping pretty fast. Bleed rate is, you know, you have to be careful with it. Now, of course, once again, if you play it safe and you just don't get a hit, which I always say is a smart thing to do, you're really not going to be paying attention to this. But if you get unlucky, because we all do get unlucky, we all make mistakes because we're all human, this could kill you very, very fast. Or maybe you're in a car wreck or something like that, you have a deep wound. This can kill you. So I think I'm going to put this one to F tier because it's just... I don't think it's worth the high risk that this is gonna add for three points. Next on the list for three points, we have weather sensitive. Basically, your head might start aching when weather is gonna be changing. This is actually, in my opinion, a really cool trait. It's there's no other traits like that. It's it's really unique, and I really like this. This is really cool. Now, pain, of course, is gonna reduce your accuracy and all that such and can be pretty problematic, but the weather in Project Zombie doesn't just change every day, so you're not really going to be hurting from this every day, and you'll actually know, hey, you know, it's been really nice weather, oh, my head starts to hurt, oh, chances are tomorrow is going to start raining, <laughs> so you are basically predicting the weather that way. I still don't think this, uh, the extra slight pain you get from this is going to be too much of a problem, so I think for the three points, I'm actually going to put it up here into A tier, and it's pretty decent. Next on the list, we have depressive. That means you're often sad and you might go down into bad depression. Now, this extra bursts of depression can be really annoying because it's something you're gonna have to deal with. You're gonna have to take time to fix it, right? Just, you know, optimist, I don't think was very worth it because if you just play normally, you're rarely gonna get depressed and as you're starting to get depressed, you can already fix it before you do get depressed, right? In this one, you might just fall into depression and then you need to start fixing it up again, which is gonna take your time that you could put into something else. Sure, it's not that hard to fix, you know, with antidepressants and books and magazines and food and all the stuff you can get, but still, it can be pretty annoying. So we're gonna put this one down here into C tier. Next, we have panic attacks for five points. Your character is going to sometimes suddenly get panicked and your panic level is going to decrease slower. Now, personally, I really like playing with guns and when you are playing with guns, panic can be really annoying because it really, really, really reduces your accuracy. Now, even with melee weapons, it's going to reduce your accuracy and at the highest, the extreme panic, it's also going to reduce your damage by quite some. So panic really, in my opinion, is not great. Now I know there's some of you who go for the adrenaline junkie builds, you stack up the claustrophobics and agoraphobics and all that such, and you just go crazy and you run around fast with adrenaline junkie. Sure, it's a very niche build, but I don't think otherwise in general panic is that great. And I'm gonna put this straight out here into C tier. Next on the list is pretty straightforward. Slack. It reduces your strength and athletics by one. Or fitness, I should say, not athletics. I'm not a fan of that. You know me, I really value strength and fitness because they are pretty hard to level up. 
and the lower you start with it the longer it's gonna take for you to get all the way up and the more time you're gonna have to spend exercising instead of doing something better and more important so anything that drops down your strength and fitness to me it's not really worth it i know a lot of people do like playing you know fat or skinny characters and then they slowly regain that but for me for my style of gameplay and i think in general it's just not that great so i'm still gonna put this into c tier it's not f tier because it's just minus one for both and you can you know rework this but still C tier. Next we have sore legs. This is actually worth eight points and whenever you walk, run, sprint, stomp on zombies, basically do anything with your legs, your legs gonna start hurting. So you're basically the whole game, unless you're sitting on the ground, you're gonna have your legs hurting. You're gonna be in constant pain, always. Now the thing is from this it's mostly minor pain so you're not really going to be feeling it too much and if you want to get addicted to uh some painkillers this would be a great way to go but i think while pain can be annoying you know and it's a bit of a detriment i still think for eight points this is actually worth trying to deal with now i've never played with this for a really long long term you know for months in game to test how really bad this could be but just from this and from a bit of testing it feels like this could be a very decent trait it's of course it's a lot of pain and you know all of that that can be pretty annoying but still it's eight points anyway i'm gonna put it some here in the middle of the pack i think it's safe to say that it can be a decent b tier trait last but not the least we have the alcoholic of course we have to have an alcoholic it's a straight up good trait it's not uh so basically every so often you have to drink alcohol otherwise your character is not going to be happy with you so this is basically the same you have to do with cigarettes you know in in game with a smoker trait so you have to find some alcohol which let's be real in Project Zombie, it's really not that hard to find. Even if you're playing extremely rare loot, there's gonna be plenty of alcohol around. Now, if you are going for years and years, eventually, if you were playing with more traits mod and that alcoholic trait, that one would kill you because you would never be able to make your own alcohol and you would just basically loot all the alcohol in the world. This one, actually, with a simple overhaul, it's really amazing because if you go, I think, 30 days without alcoholic and you survive through all the garbage that it throws at you, you will no longer need alcohol. You're gonna basically clean your body. You're gonna clean your system. No longer gonna be alcoholic, which I think is amazing. Also, on the other side, if you drink a lot of alcohol in-game without being an alcoholic, you can actually gain the trait alcoholic, which I think is also really, really amazing. So. I think this trade is worth it, it's doable, and if you really run out of alcohol, you can get through it and actually survive. So I'm gonna put this up here into A tier. Now, that concludes our ranking over here. Let me know what you think about it, how you feel about this, what would you put into S tier, what would you put into F tier, and let me know more in the comments. If you haven't seen the positive trades, check them out here, and I'm gonna be doing professions next from Simple Overhaul. For now, thank you for watching.